Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we'll be going to the Lowe's, um, and we're gonna go big box plant shopping at the Preston Road in Frisco, Texas, um, just to see what kind of restock or plants that they have. I visited this Lowe's um, maybe last week to see if they had some new plants. I know I was able to get a big feature, and they at the time, they had actually had a bunch of pallets. So we're gonna take a look and see what plants that they may have um, unboxed, and what we have but you know it is about to be spring and they've already got some of these strawberry ham baskets hanging baskets right over here and they don't have any of the outdoor plants yet you know texas has recently been super cold so we're going to enter here and it looks like even their outdoor section doesn't have nearly as many plants but i am curious to see what plants we will see at this lowe's location i will say this lowe's location has a very good selection of plants and as you can see i am um, actually entering this area and you'll see tons and tons of plants so i'm super excited to see what plants we have we never um, cease to see majesty palms at any big box store so we have a ton right over here lowe's carries them home depot walmart you name it grocery stores carry them and we're going to look at this end cap right here this is mainly has um living trends and also urban jungle so the first one is going to be a hanging basket of epipremnum arium gold um marble queen pothos this is for 24.48 and i love the the leaves of this the variegation is absolutely stunning and even the planter is quite stylish um nice looking epipremnum aria marble queen for sure um i'm not necessarily a fan of the planter design i just wish it was like a solid um sphere and like a matte finish right over here we have a hanging basket of um, a marantha i think this is just a green marantha this is really nice and i love the late afternoon light hitting the leaves that just gives it another dimension to the plant really like go, um, looking at this marantha right here now with marantha they are um com like similar to like calatheas and stromanthi they are part of that prayer plant species where they do require a little bit more high humidity and they, they can be finicky when it comes to watering you do need to keep the water moist or the soil levels moist you don't really want to just completely dry it out and then this is one of my favorite pothos or an epipremnum arium neon pothos look at how beautiful and electrifying the neon color is it's almost like yellow neon green you name it it is a showstopper when it comes to like easy care common house plants this one is also for 2448 living trends um release right over here for a hanging basket and with epipremnum arium or pothos they're one of the easiest um, plants i would highly suggest getting this plant if you're a beginner to house plants and for those who have just discovered my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in my name is richie and i um do plant shopping videos daily i typically try to premiere them in the evenings now i used to try to go for seven but um as of late work has been very demanding and so they've been a little bit later but just know that i will do my very best to give you guys daily content and we are looking at this um, philodendron heteraceum um, just a normal green form we have the brazil and some other variegated versions but i do love looking at these hanging baskets i am happy that i have three hanging baskets at my home that are successfully hanging in front of my window seal um, in my kitchen and it's been doing very well none of it has actually like fallen and i'm using these command um, hook type strips that i got from amazon this one is a nice jensen ficus bonsai and that one is for 1898 nice looking one with a little bit of um top dressing with some of that um, fake moss and then i saw this at a grocery store last night this is by live trends um really nice looking um valentine's plants these are all um air plants and i think those are really cool because they look like those um those heart um you know tart sweet tarts that you get on valentine so that's really nice but as far as plants go um most Home Depot's have an end cap of live transplants as well as urban jungle plants. So this one is an urban jungle release. This is a hanging basket of philodendron um, micans. Really nice. There's just a little bit of yellowing on the leaves, but nonetheless, I love philodendron micans. And then we have some more epipremnum arium or pothos. We have the golden pothos on the left and then the neon pothos on the right. And then right over here, we have another dracaena this one is a um beautiful dracaena i don't know if it's really a hurricane the hurricane has a little bit more twisting to the leaves but i do like how this dracaena does curl so this might be a hurricane 
Either way, Dracaenas are underrated um, plants. I don't think a lot of people really actively collect them, but they are absolutely gorgeous. This one is another um, Urban Jungle release. I do love Ur Urban Jungle six inch um, potted up plants like this in the planters. I just wouldn't spend the money. I think they are around like 24 something. Um, nonetheless, you know, they're beautiful. I just wouldn't spend the money because I am a little bit more particular about what planters I put in my space. And then we're gonna go pan over here and you see how beautiful that afternoon light hits the plants. They are definitely living their best life, especially that Vanda orchid. And we have for $2.98, a bunch of um, air plants right over here. So with air plants, basically you just put the air plant in water, soak it completely and let it dry off and that is it. Um, so I really like that. I don't have air plants in my collection, but that might be something I might add. And then we have this Vanda orchid right over here. Like I said, I, if I'm gonna add an orchid, I might add a Philanopsis, but I really love, um, would love to add a Vanda orchid. I love that it's hanging. Look at how beautiful the, the, the color is of this one. And I'm from the Philippines originally, and they have Vanda orchids. They just grow like weeds there. There's a specific one called Waling Waling. Definitely Google that. It is absolutely stunning, an absolutely stunning Vanda orchid. And right over here, we're looking at a bunch of Philonasis orchids. So I've been looking at a lot of like grocery plants and obviously orchids are a staple, but I did want to show you this. So I'll give you an example of what kind of planters I like. I honestly like this simple planter. And uh, this one is for $19.98 for this Philonopsis orchid. Look at how beautiful the, um, the blooms are. Absolutely stunning. I love the speckling. I love the color. And then just the light hitting the, this beautiful bloom makes it even more special and just more striking. Um, we have some more Philonopsis orchids right over here. I'm just gonna go pan out. So one thing I'm working on is as I do my big box stores is taking the time and really just featuring the plant in its um, entirety. Close-ups of the plant and just the foliage, blooms, you name it. I, I'm gonna try to get you that full, you know, that type of content. And right over here, we have some Kokedama um, bromeliads. So that's really cool. It does not use plastic, so I love that. And it's really called a Kokodama. Um, that, but Kokedama is basically a Japanese form of a moss ball. You, um, a moss ball. So basically, they plant the plant and wrap moss ball around it, and it hangs. So that's really cool. And then I talked about Lowe's always having a diverse selection of orchids. So right over here, we have an orchid, um, Calatea, and this one is an interesting one right over here. So you can see that they have, actually these are not Calatea, these are Vanda orchids, I'm so sorry. But you see that there are little small um, orchids that are available. And then we have some cool Kokedama orchids right over here. I think that's super cute. Look at that, the moss ball is already ready to go. And this one's for $21.98. Um, the care with the, with the moss ball is, or the kokedama, is you just submerge the entire ball in water and then let it just drain completely and then you are good to go. Now, um, we have some Vanda orchids right over here. Actually, that is um, not a Vanda orchid. This one right over here is a Vanda orchid. So you can see they're wrapped around um, highly, you know, high humidity. It's not in bloom yet, but you will see that if you do grow it and get it to bloom, look at how beautiful that... Um, bloom is now with the vanda orchid blooms they last for quite a while so that's something that you know to look forward to and then we have some more or orchids here they do have calathea orchids look at how beautiful the um the bloom shapes are and even just a tiny um orchid right there i definitely um will get an orchid from lowe's maybe like a calathea orchid i just need to do a little bit more research with my plants like this one is a cool vanda orchid this one's got a yellow one but vanda orchids definitely don't need to be in like orchid mix it just likes to hang in a hanging basket with some of the um aerial roots and then this one right over here is another type of orchid and um, this is a Calathea orchid and it looks like it just likes lower light conditions. So that's really cool. There's some care tips behind here and you can see that it is in some orchid bark mix. You can see some of the roots are um, popping out, some of the aerial, aerial roots. And um, let's see, we have just some really cute looking blooms right here. So they're not as large as like a Philonopsis orchids, but nonetheless, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna do some research and find me an, um, an orchid YouTuber because I would love to see what um, 
orchids would really be like in terms of like somebody who's actually collecting orchids not just for the blooms but just for the different types of species so i love um lowe's you will always find me in lowe's i honestly find myself at lowe's walmart home depot grocery stores stores on the daily now just because i don't know i like i like making these videos and that's another planter i would put in my collection so you can see that that's kind of like my aesthetic just very simple neutral colors to my plants i promise that i will eventually do a home tour video of my um, plant collection but it's just going to be a little bit i've um, pretty much hoarded a bunch of plants from my plant shopping video so i want to make sure i style them and just get them um, situated here is a Scandapsis trubii Moonlight by Costa Farms Trending Tropicals. Now this is for $19.98. I love the silvery foliage. I always, you know, mention that in all my videos. And you know what? This has become fairly and easy to come by plant. You'll find that. And then here's a really nice um, Epipermnum Pinatum Baltic Blue. So this is another, um, it's similar to a Pothos, but this one is a Baltic Blue. In the Philippines, we call this Tibatib because these are, they just go rampant. So it's um, an Epipernum Panatum, like a Cebu Blue, but this one is just the Baltic Blue. This one tends to fenestrate easier than just the Cebu Blue one. Just, it doesn't necessarily need to even be on a pole. It just fenestrates a little bit easier. And then this one right over here, you can see that this is another Vanda Orchid. Look at all the um, aerial roots and Look at that beautiful purple bloom right there. Um, these do look like they need to be at least watered. I know that I visited this um, Lowe's for more than a month now and I've seen these Vanda orchids, but they definitely need to get a little bit of water. Um, I don't know if they're necessarily watering that, the Vanda orchid. So the way you would uh, water a Vanda orchid is you would take like a spray bottle of water and literally just miss the um, the roots they will turn green and you'll know that it's hydrated and then i've been looking at photonia plants these are um, exotic angels by costa farms these are for um 5.98 and look at how beautiful this photonia is this is called the pink angel i love pink plants look at the pink veining um, with photonias they definitely need higher uh, levels of humidity but you know they're fairly common and easy and then right over here we have the very common croton gold dust I have a larger version of this and I'll say I wasn't necessarily a fan of crotons, but now I've learned to like them. Um, I might want to add some more crotons as the summertime comes around or as it starts to warm up because I know that they will thrive better in higher light conditions. And this one is a really nice larger form Fetonia. This one is a Juanita Fetonia. So if you notice the, um, the pink angel has smaller um, foliage. Well, this one actually has much larger foliage and actually there's even larger Fetonia the pink way but i will see if i can find the pink way but look at how beautiful the leaves are i may start collecting photonia just like the waffle plants that i saw from costa farms but look at the leaf size and the leaf shape these are both for um 5.98 by costa farm so i love the exotic angels line and then right over here we have a palia dark um galaxy or thing dark mystery like the this plant right here so it's a dark mystery palia 598 as well um these need to be more so in terrariums they require really high humidity and over there is some type of syngonium and i think it's a syngonium um, berry illusion and then we have this uh, one of my favorites i'm looking for a large hand ba um, hanging basket of this but this is a philodendron heteraceum lemon lime look at how beautiful this is so if you're going to have me pick between a neon pothos and a, um, this one i would choose this one just because it has a really nice shape to its leaves you can see there's a neon pothos right there they're very similar it's just the leaf shape um i do like that heart shape from the heteraceum and then right over here we're gonna pan over so it looks like um you know costa farms tends to just send trays and trays of the same plant i would really love to know what their propagation um looks like like how long does it take to actually grow all of these plants so they'll be ready to go for a big box store but as you can see syngoniums are one of my favorite plants this one is um, another syngonium one that's common that you would see out in a big box store you can see that the roots are fairly established it's another like some some type of illusion now the thing about syngoniums is they do require bright indirect light if they don't get as much light they start to get leggy and speaking of bright indirect light we have some type of um, diphenbachia here i would love to really add a diphenbachia to my collection but it's just one of those plants that i know i don't necessarily have the high light conditions my high light conditions for that area would be for some more of my other plants that um, i 
um, like more so than Diefenbachia. There is a Diefenbachia that I want to add. It's a Diefenbachia Sparkle, and I'll show you that. I know this Lowe's has it, but look at how beautiful the light hitting this Diefenbachia is. Not 100% sure what this um, Diefenbachia plant ID is, but this one is for $12.97 in a six inch planter. And they are um, wick and grow. So basically you would put it in one of these um, wick and grow planters where at the bottom there's like a water reservoir and then it's self watering. You just stick that in there and basically voila. You don't really need to water it from the top. Um, it just sits on top of there and the little wick actually draws water into the soil. Um, that's a really good planter. I actually like the planter and I might consider getting the planter someday for any of my self watering, but I really think self watering is the way to go. I hope that Costa Farms continues to like push their trending tropicals with self-watering planters because that would just make it easier for a lot of um, plant um, parents just because then you don't have to real you won't have to worry about overwatering or underwatering. The only way you would underwater is basically if you don't refill the reservoir. And it prevents fungus gnats because fungus gnats is a pest that thrives in like moist soil. That's how their um, eggs hatch. But if it's completely dry, then their eggs won't hatch. And then right over here, we have some more hanging baskets. Look at how gorgeous the light is hitting these plants it just gives it a different like look and appearance and right over here we we were just talking about waffle plants like i am in the market or just looking for a purple waffle plant now i don't want to pay 7.98 for this one this one's a larger size but if i find one that is really fresh and nice i'll pay the full price of the 5.98 just because i think this is such a cool looking plant love the texture but more so i love the undertone of the purple and then this one right over here is another croton um like i said you know some people say don't show any more crotons but i like crotons they reminded me of my grandmother she had huge crotons in the philippines we call crotons san francisco plants you know it's really interesting how in different regions or, or just different places in the country certain plants are named differently and then i forgot the plant id for this one but i saw this last time i do love the hanging basket for that and then what else do we have right over here we have a combination of fetonia plant so maybe it's like a juanita fetonia and then like a um, fetonia superba really nice large form um, leaves for these fetonias i might actually get fetonias and make like a terrarium type situation with one of my lamps i actually have a lamp that um, can be a terrarium i actually had it we'll see if i um, make one and then i may feature it and then this one is a really cool hedra helix guys you know you gotta love my hedra helix Yes, um, this one is a PVC IV or PVC Hedra Helix. I love the um, the texture of the leaves. Now, if you guys want a little bit of update on my Hedra Helix gold coin, I know I'm doing a challenge where to see if I can actually grow one for a month and not get spider mites. It is doing fine and actually has some new growth coming on. So it's, it's thriving in my care so far. This one is another Syngonium. Look at how beautiful that um, arrow head shape is for Syngoniums. That's another thing. Syngoniums are so underrated. I really think you guys should all get a Syngonium in your plant collection if you don't have one. I do find this Croton really nice as well. Look at how beautiful the, the leaves are. This is the Sunny Star Croton. So it's kind of like the banana Croton, but this one has a little bit thicker leaves. The banana Croton has a little bit more thinner leaves, but look at how beautiful that yellow is. Now with Crotons, their coloration is very much so influenced by the amount of light they get so the more light they get the more vibrant they will be and then this is the hedra helix guys this one is the um garland ivy just looks like a very typical ivy just green no variegation but nonetheless it's pretty and i would just think that ivy would just definitely grow better outdoors so i'm just curious if anybody has been able to um, grow ivy and let them thrive in indoor conditions let me know in the comments let me know in the live chats this one over here is the, um, what, what is this, the Royal Hustler um, Ivy. And then we have another Photonia. This is a large form Photonia. This one is the Superbia Photonia. It is definitely superb. Look at how beautiful um, the leaves are. They're large and look at that white veining. It's very striking. Definitely would make better for like a, a terrarium setting. So with Photonias, you just need to make sure that their water, their, um, their soil doesn't dry completely because they're they're pretty dramatic plants in that sense and we have just an epipremnum arium or a golden pothos this one's not really variegated and then this one right here is an interesting syngonium so this one looks a little bit different 
This one is a cream illusion, illusion syngonium. So I knew that there was a little bit of difference with that one. Um, I actually like it and look at how beautiful that light hits, the sunlight hits. Love the um, cream tone to it and then just a very faint pink um, veining of the syngonium. Now with syngoniums, they do large, um, they size up as they um, grow um, larger on a pole. So definitely check this out. This one is very um, lush. If I was actually on a no buy, like if I wasn't going to buy a plant today, um, or if I was going to buy a plant today, I would definitely pick up that syngonium. I don't have that in my collection. Um, and that's the thing about big box plant shopping. It's just very difficult to just window shop. Like there's just so many healthy plants in the market. Like for instance, this one, I know that this is a very typical croton. Um, this one is the Petra croton right over here, but look at how beautiful the leaves are. Usually crotons are just kind of grown in like patio, um, planters during the fall, but I like croton. Um, I've grown to like them. My croton milk that I got from Indonesia, it actually did lose a lot of its leaves and it's not doing too well, but I think it's just trying to acclimate to its weather. They're big divas. And then this is the Balfouriana Aurelia. Um, I have one that I bought from Lowe's for a dollar. It was a rescue plant. It hasn't pushed out any new leaves, but it also hasn't died either. Um, the i think that this aurelia is going to be beautiful and the thing is once it starts to mature it starts to like get a thicker trunk and bark up and i love the variegation on on that Balfour, balfouriana aurelia this is one i actually and this is exactly the plant i would pick this one is a gold crest um, false aurelia v very beautiful um aurelia indeed what i like about it is the strap leaves the white margins or the variegation um outlining the leaves and if you look at the stems they're also like variegated it's just got a lot of very small minute details about it this one is for 5.98 by costa farms now with aurelia i'm not as familiar but i do feel like aurelia would need higher um, bright lighting conditions and but they look like they would be easy plants and that one actually i would buy specifically that plant if i was going to buy a plant today so there's already two plants that i am resisting from buying and look at this hedra helix guys it is trailing and it is looking nice here is another Fatonia right here for $5.98. I believe this is the Pink Angel. I've been running um, running into this a lot. So there, it might be a sign that I need to pick this up. But this is a beautiful plant and I'm actually a fan of it. This is the Snow White Waffle Plant. I bought one and mine is very lush. This one is a little bit more bare, but it's actually quite an easy plant. I do um, think that it needs a lot of humidity, but mine sits in my um, kitchen, right in front of the window, right in front of my sink, and it's doing very well. This one does require um, to be watered a little bit. It likes to be on the wetter side. This is a really cool cactus right over here. And as you can see, they just watered it and it's over watered. So let's go ahead and just drain some of that water because we don't want it to die. This is a dogtail cactus hanging basket for $19.98. Costa Farms Exotic Angels. And then we have another Hedra Helix here. But this one, I just wish um, Costa Farms would have given it a plant ID or maybe it is just an ivy. Like maybe it doesn't have a cultivar name, but it's really cool. I do like the textures. Now, um... I always like gaslight Hedra Helix in all of my videos, but honestly, I just think it's because I'm bitter that I haven't been able to grow a Hedra Helix. But let me pan over here. Here is a nice plant find. This is a hanging basket, a full one by Costa Farms. This is a Hoya Carnosa Crimson um, Princess for actually this one's 20.98 sorry um this is a really beautiful Hoya right over here for all you Hoya lovers my plant foldies who love Hoyas I am definitely getting into Hoyas and this is one Hoya that I ended up buying actually at Walmart for 19.98 so it was a little bit um less at Walmart just by a couple of cents but this is a nice Hoya now with Hoyas they definitely prefer bright indirect light um their leaves are are very waxy and you can tell when they need to be watered because the leaves start to feel a little bit dehydrated not as thick and waxy but look here's another plant fun do you see this do you see what i see yeah i know you do it is an epipremnum arium manjula pothos this one is for 5.98 and let me tell you about manjula pothos absolutely stunning pothos just because it is highly variegated um i really love manjula because the manjula pothos actually has like a, a rounder shaped leaves um and it's just variegated you know highly variegated now if you grow a manjula pothos up a pole 
um, you will get very large, highly variegated leaves, almost to the point where it's like, it almost looks like a variegated Monstera albo. So that's another like, you know, plant hack. If you can't afford a Monstera albo, get you a Monstera, I mean, a, a Epiprenum aria, Mandula pothos, grow it up a pole and you will see the leaves upsize and it's absolutely gorgeous. This one right over here is another Fetonia. This is a Superbia, but this one's for $5.98. This is in a smaller, um, in a smaller planter, but I did, I'm just really excited. Like I already have two Manjula pothos growing in my care. I love it. Um, they're a little bit slower growing, but once you get it established, it starts to pick up on the growth. Um, what else do we have here? Now we have these smaller purple waffle plants like this one. I just feel like I've seen better specimens that are a little bit more full at um, low so i'm gonna refrain from buying it but this one's not bad it's not crisping it's very healthy fairly healthy and whatnot i am looking for a belgian waffle um, plant as well so i can complete my um my collection there's the snow white waffle this purple waffle and the belgian waffle the belgian waffle is actually pretty cool because it has like tan um variegation like um caramel but this one is literally a purple plant love it love it love it it would grow go well with like a, a dark foliage collection like maybe as the um raven zz and like a reverted philodendron pink princess that would just be really cool and then we have some more crotons here these are all croton um, gold dust very common croton and then what else do we have here we're just going to pan over and see that this lowe's is um absolutely full with plants this one right over here is a hanging basket of Epipremnum arium pearls and jade. This is a beautiful pearls and jade pothos, and it has some high variegation. The thing about pearls and jade is, um, it even if you don't give it nearly as much bright indirect light, it doesn't lose its variegation. And then this is a really nice Hawaiian spider plant. So YouTube plant influencer David Morales found a smaller version of this hanging plant, and it was in perfect condition. And this one actually is in perfect condition, but I don't really want to buy a spider plant um for 20.98 i feel like i can get a better deal if i go to like a grocery store but nonetheless this is a beautiful plant there's several spider plants here and i would really love to see just a little spider babies come out that's such a cool um you know thing about this plant is it just produces pups and just springs them out and all you have to do is cut them put them in a little bit of water and you have a new spider plant so that's pretty cool and then we have a ponytail palm and somebody said that a ponytail palm is more of like a succulent and not really a palm so thank you for the plant foley that gave me that insight and that's what i love about having live chats live premieres and just commentary you guys give me the best um, plant insights as well now this one's really cool this is a pink illusion syngonium so i haven't seen a pink illusion syngonium there's different types of illusions actually i will i was i'm very tempted to buy this syngonium because i haven't gotten you know i haven't added a syngonium in my collection nonetheless this is a really cool syngonium as well what i like about the syngonium is the dark leaves and then just the veining the grit you know like the lime green veining and then just the red veining in the middle as well and then we're going to take a look at this this one is another one this one is a um berry illusion um, Syngonium right over here, not bad at all. I love Syngoniums. I have quite a bit of Syngoniums in my collection and obviously that Hoya Carnosa um, Crimson Princess hanging basket is lovely for sure. And now we have um, some self-watering planters by Costa Farms. These are for um, 1598. This one is the Dracaena Hurricane. So you can see it kind of spinning around, really cool. And then this is a Philodendron Heteraceum Brazil beautiful hanging basket by costa farms and then we have some more self-watering planters with some calathea medallion look at how that light is hitting this calathea right over here this isn't nearly as perfect of a specimen but nonetheless calathea um they're they're nice my calathea are doing well i have a makayana that i really need to go put inside and like find a spot but it's doing well in my garage right now this one is a ficus larata right over here that's really nice um, I, I recently got a ficus lorata for 99 cents at Sprouts, a local grocery store. And look at how beautiful this bird's nest fern here. I love the neon green leaves. And that's the thing with green foliage. There's different varieties of green. You've got deep green, you've got emerald green, you've got lime green, you've got yellow green, you've got a lot of green. And speaking of um, different greens, look at this variegation. I just noticed this um, from the philodendron Brazil. Look at how highly variegated this is.
that's absolutely stunning. I'm curious to see if I were to cut the node and water, you know, water propagate it, would it actually produce more highly variegated philodendron in Brazil? Um, the stem has quite a bit of variegation, so that's really cool. Um, now with philodendron Brazil, you definitely want to give it a lot more bright light to really push out that variegation. And then right over here are what we call the rescue plants or the clearance plants. This Lowe's doesn't have nearly as bad looking plants, but as you can see, I am a little bit sad to see that um, Dracaena right over here, this Dracaena white aspen, really like that. What I did discover about Dracaena white aspen is the leaves do brown, even in like good care. So like it's a little bit more finicky for a Dracaena, but this one right over here, is um on sale for 50 percent off this is a fetonia pink wave so if i were to buy this this would be like ten dollars this is a huge hanging basket and i have been always i know if you've been watching my channel i featured this hanging basket in this specific fetonia um quite a bit honestly i might think of just going ahead and breaking my no plant buy so again i went like 48 hours without buying a plant and here we go um, I'm just gonna put this to the side first while I film. I might get it. I'm probably gonna get it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it because that is a good deal for such a large leaf photonia. And then we have some more like clearance plants here. I really wish people would just buy these plants before they really decline in health. Just like this is a beautiful strawberry begonia right over here. Um, I just feel like it's dehydrated. If it was in a smaller container, I would get that. And this is a teardrop peperomia, I think. And then look, this is what I was talking about. This is a super leggy hanging basket of um, the Belgian waffle plant. And you can see that their variegation is a little bit different. It is crispy. If had I known that there was a hanging basket of Belgian waffle um, plant, I would totally buy it. But you can see it's different from the Snow White one. This one has more like tan cream variegation. And then what else do we have here? We've got some more hanging baskets. So you can see that there is an overflow of plants. This is some type of Hedra Helix. I love the variegation of that Hedra Helix for sure. Um, this one is by Costa Farms. Um, it's already ready trailing. Um, we're going to see if I can grow this Hedra, you know, the Hedra Helix I currently have, because if I am, then I'll be able to go ahead and add some more um, English Ivy in my home. Um, what I do with my Hedra Helix is since it's very spider mite prone is I actually put it right next to a humidifier um, and it actually helps keep the humidity levels down or up and that prevents spider mites. Spider mites hate high humidity. Um, they like to they thrive in like drier conditions i'm not sure what this hanging basket is or what plant this is so if anybody knows a plant id please leave me leave that in the comments and then we can see that these are just the full price versions and look at how large that leaf is look at how large that fetonia leaf is that is insane um, and that's the reason why I'm going to probably buy that plant, but these are the full price ones and they're for $19.98. So I'm going to go ahead and just get the one for $10 because they look about the same. This is a um, cool looking creeping type um, ficus, I believe, but look at the variegation. I feel like this one would require a little bit more water and this is called the Belus, ficus, um, the Belus. So that's really nice. I wouldn't add it to my collection because I don't know exactly what the um, the care tips are. But here is another Hedra Helix. This one is the King's Choice Ivy. So that's what the royal you know royalty would want. Look at the texture of the leaves. They're very pointy, beautiful green ivy. Um, Hedra Helix is beautiful. I just really wish that it wasn't such spider mite prone. I know somebody was like, um, you know, they're now afraid that. You know, I mentioned that I'm afraid about spider mites. It's really my personal um, experiences. It may work for some other people, but for me, I've just killed like 12 of them because of spider mites. So we'll see. And then here's another um, Ho Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. So they have a couple of like hanging baskets going on at this location. So clearly um, I might have missed a restock because there's a bunch that have already sold through. And then this is a Skindapsis hanging basket. Beautiful Skindapsis. It's also known as the Silver Pothos, even though it's not really an Epipremnum um, Arium. Nonetheless, they have very similar care tips and growth patterns. So that's really cool. And this one is another cool spider plant. This one is the curly one. Um, I like it. It's interesting and it'd be interesting to see its babies as well. Look at that. It looks like like curly hair right over here. 
really cute plant i definitely think that this is a plant that you need to like hang and this one is by costa farms as well so really happy with what costa farms has been releasing i'm hoping that they will release some really cool plants this year um mind you we are only um we're in the last week of january so spring hasn't hit so you will definitely get a lot of plant content from me as it um, becomes more readily available. Now this I thought was some type of Hoya, but it's actually some type of lipstick plant. I think it's a mini um, variegated mist, um, lipstick plant. So I'm thinking lipstick plants are similar in care to Hoyas because if you touch their foliage, they're very waxy as well. And look at some of the variegation. This one is for $15.98 in a smaller hanging basket. Um, I'm not a familiar with lipstick plants so I would refrain from buying it but that's really cool this is a Schifflera moon drop really nice Schifflera so it doesn't have such stark like variegation but nonetheless I love that it has like white outlines around the leaves so I think that that's really cool and right over here we have a teddy bear vine I thought this was a trade scanthia just because it looks like one but it's not and I, I see that um often and then here is a nice and lush epipremnum arium or golden pothos for $15.98 that is not a bad hanging basket for $15.98 by costa farms and it's um variegated very well and then we have that beautiful hedra helix or english ivy right over here um we have a philodendra heteracium cordatum just a regular one right here and actually if i'm going to get another hedra helix or ivy i'm definitely going to get this this is the hedra helix wonderful ivy that's what it's called by costa farms exotic angels um this one is for 5.98 but look at how beautiful the leaves are it's super cute they rem it reminds me of like trident maple leaves the, tri the tri loaves but look at how gorgeous that variegation is because i um i just like variegated plants in general but this is really cute um so that might be another hedra helix i will add to my collection and then right over here, this is really cute. I thought this was another type of Hoya, but this is a pink passion lipstick plant. So I might get into lipstick plants as well, just because they have that waxy um, texture around it. And that's just really cool. Like I love um, finding and discovering new plants. And as you can see that um, exotic angels um, hanging baskets are really cool. Look at how beautiful that is. That is super cute. Love the leaf shape. It's got like a very um, subtle pink you know not pink subtle heart shape to it and you can see that there's new growth so this one is happy i hope somebody ends up buying this lipstick um, plant because it is it looks very healthy and um, i would hope that it wouldn't end up in the rescue me or clearance section but look at that it's already trailing i'm assuming that this would be an easy one to propagate and this one is for 2098 so i love costa farms plants i'm glad that they're able to supply big box stores so we can have more exotic plants readily available and this is a peperomia serpens okay like this is interesting i have never seen a peperomia serpens in um, real life so i like that this one is a little bit um leggy however it may just need some more bright indirect light and then this was a plant i was asking for a um, plant id but it looks like costa farms has actually put the plant id on this um, it reminds me of some kind of herb, but this is a uh, Hemigraphis ZZ plant. Really cool. I like the pink and lavender stem stems. It's really nice. And then these are some more um, mini variegated lipstick plants. So that's really cool that Costa Farms has that available, especially in these smaller hanging baskets. I think they work well. Look at how beautiful the variegation is on that. I'm not 100% sure about the care tips, but I would assume that it's similar to like a Hoya. And you can see there's a fern there. We have some more strawberry begonias and we have another um, spider plant, Hawaii. Look at that. That one is a smaller version as well for $15.98. Um, I just feel like I can find me a spider plant for a little bit less at like a grocery store. So that's an easy plant as well. The only thing is the watering. Sometimes you have to give it better quality water. Otherwise the leaves start to like... Um, brown up and that's a small version of the um strawberry begonia i might actually add a strawberry but there's a lot of things i might add so guys um take it for a grain of salt if i mention i might add it i may may not i just know that the first time i really started growing plants about two to three years ago i ended up being overwhelmed because i ended up getting more than 100 plants and just the watering and everything just got out of hand and then i got a pest infestation and it was just really sad but I keep going back to this. I wish they had a smaller, um, you know, like a smaller 
you know, exotic angels, like um, three and a half inch plant. For that, I don't really wanna buy a hanging basket. And this one right over here, I think I saw this for, on, on YouTube as well. This is another plant that I would love to add to my collection. It looks like it'd be easy to propagate. Like, I don't know if it's one of those where you just cut under the node and then it would just root. And look at this um, begonia. I wish somebody would rescue that begonia because it's beautiful. Um, who knows, I'm hoping that maybe my plant videos, and this one right here is also needing to be rescued. My plant videos will encourage some local Dallas-Fort Worth um, locals to go to this um, Lowe's. Now this is the Lowe's off of Preston Road and it is off of Warren and it's right next to the 99 Ranch. So definitely check this one out. This one is a nice one, but look at how massive this Spathophyllum or this Peace Lily, this is for $49.98. It has so many spathophyllum in it. This is super lush. It's not as big of a foliage as what you would see at Home Depot, but nonetheless, it's a super full plant. And this is the Diefenbachia I definitely would add to my collection. This is the Diefenbachia Sparkle. I went ahead and just Googled it and found it on Costa Farm's website for Diefenbachia and it had the plant ID, so I was super excited about that. Keratis for Diefenbachia, bright indirect light. Um, they are susceptible to spider mites, so that's the one thing. Um, you just need to watch out for as far as pests and then you just need to make sure that you water regularly wait till the soil is completely dry and then water again and you can see that this Lowe's actually merchandises their plants very well this is one of my favorite aglonema right over here look at that um, now my this aglonema of mine actually ended up getting some yellowing leaves so I think that's a sign of spider mites I do have it in a drier area so I've been a little bit lazy, but I really don't need to be. I need to go ahead and make sure to spray it down with like insecticidal soap, get some neem oil on it, and just monitor monitor that. This one is a typical um, aglonema. You will see that is an aglonema red siam or red aurora. Easy um, to care plant. If you are a plant foldy, I highly encourage getting uh, aglonema because they're very easy and they provide def a very like interesting leaf foliage, textures, colors, you name it. This one is an Aglonema Maria. That's really nice. I'm gonna put the Maria next to that um, uh, Mystic Silver. I think that's what you call that Aglonema. And then we have some more um, Dracaena right over here. I think those are Dracaena Hurricanes. I could be wrong. And then we have a Calathea Dotty. This one is for um, $19.98 by Costa Farms Trending Tropical. Beautiful Calathea. I think if I'm gonna add a Calathea, this would be the next one. So I have a Calathea Orbifolia and I have a Calathea Macuyana. And look at this, this is interesting, another plant um, discovery. So it looks like Costa Farms is now pushing out some aglonema um, snow. Look at how beautiful the variegation is. And guys, you see all that white variegation. Just know that this, um, this particular aglonema or most aglonemas can tolerate lower light conditions. So like to eat, you, you'd be able to sustain this white variegation. Obviously, the more bright and direct light you give it, the more um, white it's going to be. But that is an absolutely stunning um, aglonema. I already have it in my collection, but nonetheless, that's one of those like plants that you can definitely put in a darker area of your space and it will light it up. So I'm going to pan out over here and you can see that this Lowe's is fairly um, stocked. Um, they have a lot of plants to choose from and that just brings me a lot of joy to be able to walk around and show you what I'm seeing. Hopefully this inspires um, new people that are new to houseplants to go and buy you a plant. You know, plants really make people happy. They bring you a lot of joy or at least they bring me a lot of joy. And what brings me even more joy is you guys have taken the time to just listen to me talk. I say I ramble for about an hour, but if this is the kind of content you wanna see, I promise you, I will give you guys um, daily content on plants. Like look at how lush this one is. Now, what I find interesting is, do you see the stems on this one? This aglonema has like variegated stems. Part of me wants to just pick this up because the other aglonema has white stems. Part of me wants to pick this up and like separate the variegated one and like try to grow it. We'll see. Um, I mean, this is for $15.98, so it's not bad for an aglonema. I might actually come back to this at another day because you know, I'm gonna find myself, you know, filming this, um, this place like two to three days later. So hopefully it's still there. And if it is, I might go ahead and buy it. We'll see. 
Like I said again, guys, um, I am going broke buying all of these plants. So for those who have, you know, like supported me by just your viewership, that helps a lot. It actually raises me some more funds. Thank you so much. And then this one is another Diefenbachia. I'm not sure about the plant ID. And then for all the plant foldies during the live chats that have dropped a super sticker, super thankful for that. And even um, I can check my videos where I'm like surprised that somebody dropped like a, a tip for me. Um, that really helps me a lot and it actually funds my um, my plant you know excursions here is another um, aglonema right over here this one is an aglonema golden bay absolutely stunning so it looks similar to the silver bay it just has like some faint yellow and then this is one of my favorite aglonemas this is an aglonema white margin by costa farms this is for 29.98 really nice looking aglonema i know it's mostly green but do you see that white margin or those white um borders around every single leaf and what i absolutely love is also the white stems that's absolutely gorgeous and when you look underneath you can see the the vein and white stem as well so that's really cool um we have a bunch of these large plants by costa farms and if you pan it look at how much um greenery we have at this whole uh, this lowe's location they definitely take care of their plants i'm hoping to go to the mcdermott road the um lowe's and allen because they have um, plants that are just to perfection but this one is a really nice lowe's as well for anybody that's watching that's not in texas or even in the dfw market comment below let me know in the chats if your lows looks like this i mean i i really can't you know complain just because they do have quite a bit of plants right over here and i'm able to provide that content i will say if you have any questions about the plants i feature please leave them in the comments i respond to every single comment that is you know placed as well as the live chats and you can see there this is what they're using for their overage of just hanging baskets so I think that's super cool. I kind of wish I was here when they first like put these hanging baskets out. I'm assuming that these have been out for about a week. Um, but yeah, we're going to walk over here and I'm looking at these egg chairs. So I'm thinking of adding like this egg chair into my living room right next to my Monstera Thai constellation. Um, but we'll see. I, I just need to see if I can put that in my space, but I think that would be really cool. And I just want to walk over here. So most lows, at least in the DFW market, have this like section where as soon as you walk in the front door, they have all of these plants. And these are all super healthy plants. Like the, the front row has some Calathea uh, medallion. We've got some Aglonema red Siam, Aglonema Maria, and then this beautiful, beautiful um, Dracaena White Aspen. So I did buy a Dracaena White Aspen from this particular Lowe's. Look at how beautiful the variegation is. But I noticed that the leaves ended up start, like, starting to brown at least the white part. So I don't know if it was just because I underwatered it or didn't really water it. I just thought that Dracaena didn't necessarily need that water. So I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. And we have some ponytail palms. We have some um, Silver Bay Aglonema. This is the classic Aglonema that in the aglonema red siam and then we have this beautiful beautiful diefenbachia sparkle it is definitely a beautiful diefenbachia and right now they are all on sale for 14.98 so i mean i know that i'm going to end up adding that to my collection within a week or two we'll see what my budget looks like and then I'm going to show you some more of these Costa Farms. These are for $15.98, but what I like about Costa Farms is they actually changed up the planter they have. It's a nice matte planter, and I love the color. That navy blue is really nice. This one is a Calathea medallion, so I love the purple undersides. There's just a lot of um, interest in that Calathea. And then this is a um, Xanthosoma. Yep, I said it right, Xanthosoma from Trending Tropicals, Costa Farms. You can see that new leaf unfurling. So Xanthosoma, honestly, if I didn't know what the title of that um, plant ID would be, I thought it would be like a Caladium. It looks like a Caladium slash um, Alocasia. Um, and we have some more Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight. I just remember when Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight was such a rare plant. And now, you know, three to four years later, we see them at, you know, big box stores like Lowe's. And then we have some Alocasia Silver Dragon by Costa Farms. Look at how large the leaves are. So you can see a bunch of Alocasia Silver Dragons in all, all the big box stores. Like Walmart has them. I actually bought a Trending Tropicals one in the self-watering planter. And then we have the Skindapsis um, Trubii Moonlight. Nice plants. I love silver plants. I love gray plants. I just love plants in general, just different textures. 
I'm not a fan of the Majesty Palm we just walked by, but all the other plants right over here, especially that Daifimbakia Sparkle, I'm all about that. And then these ponytail palms are cute, but I don't know, I, I'm kind of disappointed I wasn't able to really grow a lush um, Dracaena White Aspen. So we're just gonna walk over here. I'm just gonna pan over and show you what else we have. I love this egg chair. I think this is the egg chair I want to add. It kind of reminds me of like a throne and then I'm going to have like a bunch of plants just all around it. But we will see. I, I'll, I'll see if my space will allow it. I think it will. I just need to move some things around. But as you can see, it is always nice to go big box plant shopping. I'm not necessarily shopping for plants. Today, I just want to show you how lush and full this Lowe's is, how healthy these plants are, and the um, this selection of plants. Like we have some more orchids right here. These are Phalaenopsis orchids. I love looking at Phalaenopsis orchids. Like look at the minute details of the blooms and they're all very different. Look at that one. It looks like somebody just put some watercolor on the um, the leaves, or not the leaves, but the blooms. Now this one is a different type of um, orchid I've been actually eyeing for a while. It is, um, it, it starts with a D. I can't really pronounce the name, so I'll have to practice that on my next one. But look at how beautiful these orchids are. And apparently these orchids can tolerate lower light conditions. And then there's always the urban jungle. And then we have a bunch of plants. And then we have a bunch of smaller hanging baskets by Costa Farms. Um, this one is kind of interesting. This is some type of cactus. And this cactus is called the Cactus Monstros Monstrosa something. Anyways, that was for $15.98. So that's really cool. And I'm going to take this down. This is a beautiful Syngonium. This is a Syngonium white butterfly. It is one of the more common Syngoniums. But nonetheless, look at how lush this is. There's about two main mother plants in there and just several plants growing. So I think that is really nice. Syngonium are very easy to grow. Um, and I have quite a bit in my, my home collection. This is another um, variegated Peperomia orbtusifolia. This is for $13.98 by Urban Jungle in those really stylish looking planters. And then I actually wanna know what this specific croton is because the croton, this croton has a really interesting leaf shape. Um, so if you know the plant ID for this particular croton, please let me know. It reminds me of like a philodendron, like golden dragon leaf shape. And then this is what I've been talking about, um, the beautiful philodendron hurricane. Look at how it kind of like has that hurricane spindle around a beautiful plant by Urban Jungle. And then we have a bunch of other plants down here. Um, it looks like we have a Baltic Blue from Trending Tropicals, Exotic Angels, and more Urban Jungle plants. Now we're gonna look at some of these anthuriums right over here. Um, they're healthy anterior uh, anthuriums, but I feel like you get a better deal. So this one um, is I think $13 or 13 something, but at Walmart, you can get a larger Anthurium for um, $15.98 um, by Grower's Bench, or yeah, Grower's Bench. And then we have um, another Syngonium. This one actually is a Syngonium, I'm gonna say is Maria. It's got the chocolate dark foliage and it's really nice. Um, I've never really had, you know, Syngoniums growing in a hanging basket, but they can trail. Syngoniums, for me, in my opinion, grow better up a pole. That's when you can see the mature leaves and they, it's just really cool. But I'm just gonna walk over here and show you what else um, we got, the, that Vando orchid. But anyways, guys, plant foldies, again, thank you for always tuning into my, my channel. I hope you guys will, you know, visit me on Instagram at growfolds. Please add me there. You can DM me or leave a comment anytime. I will try to respond to you guys as much as possible. But my goal is to create a plant community called the Plant Foldies of Growfolds. So, you know, please share my videos, like, subscribe, make sure you have the notification bell on. Um, I am working very diligently to get you guys beautiful plant content. Tomorrow I plan to visit several local nurseries. So we're going to see um, what kind of content I produce for y'all. And this one right here is a teardrop peperomia. Look at how beautiful this is and lush for a hanging basket. This is for $20.98. I would totally pick this up if I could actually grow more um, hanging baskets in my home if I had the space, but more importantly, if I wasn't on a no plant buy. So we'll see how you know that all pans out, especially in the, the springtime when I'm sure there's gonna be even more plants available. Um, but yeah, there's just lots of hanging baskets here. That's one thing I'll say. Lowe's has the most Costa Farms um, plants. I really like that they have such diversity here, such healthy plants. Like look at that um, spider plant right there. 
and it's just really cool i am just really surprised that you guys have taken the time to really tune in and watch my premieres interact with me it brings me so much joy and i hope that we continue to do this i know that we had about 77 people at one point during a live premiere maybe someday i'll have over 100 people so let your friends know that you can go to grow folds and we can have a plant party um and yeah like i'm gonna go ahead and break my no um buy plant and i'm gonna buy that plant today we're gonna go ahead and rescue it and see if i can grow that photonia i'll do my research on photonia to see if i can propagate it more but i do love the large leaves so um it's still there and i'm gonna buy it and then if i did it if like like look at this um this mandula pothos that's like actually my favorite pothos if i just you know i didn't want to really spend another five dollars and 98 cents when i have mandula pothos that i can take cuttings and propagate but if you want instant gratification i mean you you should buy this and that's really cool because mandula pothos are a little bit harder to find in terms of exotic angels and at big box stores like sometimes you'll find them sometimes you won't today i found them and if you are in the dfw market definitely rush out to this lowe's and buy it and also save you um, a plant rescue one of those um, clearance plants because they all haven't declined in health to where they they can recover and they can be in a nice home but again this is richie at grow folds i really hope you enjoyed my installment this evening and i will definitely see you on the next video um please like comment subscribe hit the notification bell and i will catch you on the next video bye